10. The national quarterly unemployment rate for the first half of 2024, that is January to June, have declined to record low levels in over 12 years. From April to June 2024, the unemployment rate averaged 11.25%. This is the lowest quarter two unemployment rate since 2012. If the trend continues, if the trend continues, barring any unforeseen circumstance, I believe that Shalusha will attain, will, will attain the single digit unemployment rate. Nine. We officially commence the 2024-2025 cruise season um, with the arrival of, of two ships and thereafter, of course, as the season progresses, you'll be seeing more um, arrivals. Um, we expect in the calendar year 2024 um, to be the highest arrivals in any single calendar year and that surpasses the year of 2019 as well as the highest number of cruise ship that will be docking in the harbor. We will see almost 825,000 arrivals um, for this calendar year, which is almost 200,000 more than last year's calendar year. Eight. The blue economy is not just an opportunity. It is a necessity for us, the sustainable future of our nations. By addressing the interconnected challenges of climate change, biodiversity loss and pollution. By 2050, the ocean can offer up to $15.5 trillion in benefits from sustainable investments. Seven. A collective goal of ensuring St. Lucia's education sector sustains safe and efficient function has prompted discussions between the National Principals Association, NPA, and the Ministry of Education on the ideal path toward further improving operation. School security continues to be a very topical issue in the realm of education and the President, Mr. Neil Fontenelle, raised a few concerns. And I was also very happy to report that um, the Prime Minister and the Ministry of Finance have given the Ministry of Education additional resources to bolster school security. Six. The St. Lucia Solid Waste Management Authority recently celebrated a significant milestone with the official opening ceremony of a newly constructed compost processing shed at the Deglo Sanitary Landfill. Composting is one of the simplest yet powerful actions we can take to reduce waste, restore the health of our soils and help mitigate climate change. This facility symbolizes not only progress in waste management and agricultural development, but also a collective commitment to securing a healthier, more sustainable future for all St. Lucians. Five. JICA, alongside the Department of Fisheries, held a training session on local fish salting under the broader Coast Fish Initiative. This project aims to strengthen the sustainable use and management of coastal fisheries resources across six CARICOM countries. It's a, it's a good project to experience to solve the local loop. Since we have the fish is right there by the sea, it's better to have the local fish than to, ex to bite the salt fish, the imported salt fish. Four. The Ministry of Health, Wellness and Elderly Affairs recently hosted a Vector Awareness Roadshow in the constituency of Miko. The roadshow, a key component of the Ministry's ongoing strategy to combat dengue fever, was designed to engage and inform residents about the risk associated with vector-borne diseases. This activity, which is really a roadshow, inclusive of educational activities, dispersal of educational material, as well as granting persons the opportunity to have items such as insect repellents, baits, as well as um, larvicide to help fight against the dengue fever outbreak. Three. The Ministry of Health, Wellness and Elderly Affairs successfully hosted a five-day training workshop focused on HIV and syphilis rapid test training. The training was designed to enhance the diagnostic skills of healthcare professionals, equipping them with the necessary knowledge and practical experience to perform rapid testing for both HIV and syphilis. What we're doing is increasing the capacity 
in St. Lucia. So we're building capacity and spreading it out. So our healthcare workers, our NGO participants, they're learning how to do HIV rapid and rapid testing and syphilis rapid testing. And these people will be placed, are already placed, some of them, in the different wellness centers. Two. To draw attention to the advancements made in the social protection system and increase understanding of the value of social services for disadvantaged populations, the Ministry of Equity, Social Justice and Empowerment has formally launched Social Protection Week. Today, we showcase the social protection system reform, which has been ongoing since 2012. But I'm happy for some of the more tangible progress that we've made as it relates to this initiative and of course I can speak to the collaboration between Kudme Setlisi and the Ministry of Equity. One. My other bombshell <laughs> that there are three mega projects to be launched in St. Lucia momentarily. One, the Pope site, the Rodney B shopping center. Work has started on this on, on, on this on this project. Number two, two hotels are commencing shortly on Ridley Beach. The lease is going to be signed tomorrow. And the two building, two hotels that are there are going to be demolished. Two new hotels are going to be built on, on, on that side. The two existing hotels are going to be demolished. Number three, the Mont Pinal Hotel. Workers have started on the Mont Pinal Hotel. So hopefully, before the year is ended, we should have more than 500 construction jobs. We should, all, we should also add to the unemployment, reduce the unemployment level. 